Want to supercharge GitHub Copilot with more specialized capabilities? Let us talk about the new streamlined MCP server configuration experience in VS Code. An MCP server allows Copilot to tap into external tools, APIs, and data, making it even more powerful. To use one, you will need to configure it. You can either add the configuration inside your user or workspace settings file or create a dedicated mcp.json file. Microsoft now provides a curated list of MCP servers handpicked for quality at code.visualstudio.com slash mcp. From AI-powered assistant to specialized development tools, they are ready for you to explore it. Installing an MCP server is quick. From the list, pick one you want. Follow the install steps. Let us install this mark it down MCP server. Click on install mark it down. Open VS Code. It's appeared directly in the VS Code. Click on install. Once it's set up, you will see it under brand new MCP server section in the extensions view. Each one appears separately, so it is easy to find. In our case, mark it down is here with the configuration icon. From here, you can manage your MCP servers just like extensions, start them, stop them, or remove by uninstalling the MCP server right from VS Code. Moreover, you have more controls like configuring the model access, if there is a sampling request possibility, show that sampling request and all. In case you are not in extension view and looking for what are the MCP servers installed as of now, you can open your Copilot chat and again the gear icon, click on MCP servers, which brings the MCP server view. This new configuration experience makes it easier than ever to expand Copilot's capabilities. Explore the curated list of MCP servers, install in seconds and manage everything right from VS Code. If the MCP server is not listed in this curated list, follow the previous path of adding new MCP servers into mcp.json or settings files manually.